what's up guys? It's Quincy Conte, Quincy Moreland. Thank you for checking out my channel. And I wanna talk about the wife. You always heard you have a happy life, you have a happy wife. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. You can probably flip it up. You'll have a happy life if you have a happy wife. You'll have a happy wife. No, actually I think it goes that way. Happy wife, happy life. So if your wife is happy, you're gonna be happy. Now let's break it down, because I got 10 tips, 10 things us as men, married men, let's say even if you're engaged, married men can focus on to ensure that you will have a happy life. Number one, number one. Here, I got that that, that, that deep voice. See, I could, because I could be like, number one, but I was like, number one. So number one, hold her hand in public. There's nothing like going out with your wife, going out with your woman, your lady, your boo-boo in public, and you know what, you're trying to keep your distance. You know, I don't care if it's been two months, three years, you know, 10 years, but there's nothing like going out in public and your wife trying to be close to you, and you know, either you're like too cool, you know what I'm saying? You too, you too cool, you too cool. Hold her hand, you know. Now, I wouldn't have to feel like you gotta do it non-stop, you know, the whole three-hour mall journey, you know what I'm saying? Because your hands do get kind of sweaty. And if you're like uh, me, my wife is uh, warm-blooded, more of like hot-blooded, you know? <laughs> it's not even necessarily warm. But I tell you right now, in the wintertime, the best spot to be next to the wifey. Love you, babe, if you're watching, Felicia Moreland. The, the woman feels secure, appreciated. He loves to be seen with me in public. So hold her hand, you know what? If you gonna do the thing, do the thing. You gonna be with the lady, flaunt your lady, hold her hand. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real. Keep, keep it real, keep it real. Number two, should I lighten it up some? Number two, buy her things on non-holidays. Yo, I almost felt like rapping right there. <clears throat> Buy her things on non-holiday. It's worth the day. Yo, yeah, I don't even know how that went, but don't just wait for, you know, uh, her birthday, Valentine's Day, anniversary. You know, do it because you love her yearly, you know, not, well, not once a year. Oh, please don't do that. Not necessarily daily, but throughout the year. Somebody comment below. Comment how often do you maybe get your significant other some things. While you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you got other videos you would like me to do, talk about, you would like me to do. Like, subscribe, share. Um, I would love to do some videos on other stuff. And plus I got a lot of things lined up. Music, editing, video, I'll probably be doing some cover songs. And now I'm gonna keep it real. Lately, um, We've been doing some different stuff, you know, um, even for me on Father's Day, we went out the day before Father's Day because them lines be long. Them lines be long. Dem, D-E-M. <laughs> them lines be long. So, you know, when it comes around to Mother's Day and her birthday, sometimes we'll do it the day of, but if it's a national holiday and it lands on a Sunday, we do Saturday. We do Saturday, because why? You already know. Number three. Number three is love making. Set aside some time, you got kids, get the kids out the house. I got the whisper because my kids is here right now. We got certain times, you know, that we do stuff. We marry, we grown folk. Take your time, ain't no need to rush. Ain't, ain't no need to, you know, uh, act like bunny rabbits in the bed. Where you going? Where you going? What you rushing for? What you rushing for? You know what I'm saying? Um, love making can be, can be one of the, the most passionate things that strengthens your relationship with you and your wife. I ain't forgot keep God first. God is a must to be the first thing in your life. Your relationship with God is something that your wife is going to look at. Oh, it just got serious for a second. Oh, it got ri- I ain't hear nothing. I, what, what, what'd you say? What is his relationship like? Is he leading the family? The foundation of the house. The foundation. What is the foundation? But, uh, Back to this love making, no. Back to the, back to this love making. So he joined man and woman. He joined man with woman. Number four. Number four. So now, tell her she look good because another man will. Not if you don't. Even when you tell her she look good, somewhere out there, somewhere else, another man will. You come home and you see your wife looking good. Be like, dang, girl, you, you. 
you look good today. Man, I came home the other day, I told my wife, I said, man, I said, man, I said, I like those black shorts you had on the other day, you know? And she's like, oh, okay, you know? I came home one day, man, it was like hot outside. You know, it was probably hot in the house, man, because I opened the door, and I was like, ding! You know what I'm saying? Man, wife still got it. Anyway, tell her that she look good. She needs to hear it from you. So that way when she hears it from you, when somebody else tell her that doesn't know that she's married, you know, it's like, tell me something I ain't heard before. Tell me something I don't know. My man tell me that all the time. You gonna have to come with something different. You gonna have to come with something different. Huh. You got to tell her, you know what? Maybe you look good today. I just wanna let you know you're beautiful. I'm hearing noises, right? Number five, date night is a must. Date what? Date night. Not in the daytime, date night, at night, at night. If it ain't once a week, maybe twice a month. To the movies, out for the park, you know what I'm saying? Have the kids somewhere else. If you ain't got kids, have the dog, baby, have the dog somewhere else, you know? Date night is a must. That time alone with just you and her. How it all started, you know what I'm saying? Reliving the date time, reliving the dating, coming home late. Well, maybe you can't come home late because the kids, you know, got to go to school in the morning, you got to cook the kids dinner. But you know what I'm saying? But if you got babysitters, coming home late, you know what I'm saying? Not coming home till like one o'clock, two in the morning. Okay, let's keep real. I don't even do that no more, you know what I'm saying? The last time I came home, it was probably about, it was probably about, I mean, it, it, it was late. It was late. It was like 9.30, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, 9.30, you know, that's not late, huh? That's not, it was like 9.35. Now you actually get to a point where you be like, you know what? I don't need to hang out too late no more because honestly, it's like, what you finna do now? <laughs> you plan that stuff out? Come home one or two o'clock in the morning. We going to dinner. We going to the movies. Then I'm finna walk you around the downtown park area to the sunset. I'm finna hold your hand. And then we finna sit on the park bench and look at the stars. That boy, I'm about to yo, yo. <clears throat> about to take you to dinner. Uh, about to take you to the movies. Then I'm about to hold your hand walking around the park. When the nighttime come and the sunset, uh, and it get dark, and it get dark, yeah. We about to look up at the stars. I know none of that rhyme. Y'all about to get me started up in here. Born as a hustler, never to trust ya. You ain't seen nothing like this, ready to bust ya. Put them J's up, hate. It don't matter, I'ma celebrate. Cracking in this thing like Roscoe's on my plate. And I'm gonna stay with it, still down. Anyway, <laughs> number six. Snip, snip. Take her out to the nice places to eat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you got Roos Chris. You got no Sizzlers was back in the day. That was back. That was back in the day. You know, you got a you got the Elephant Bar, Chili's. You got a lot of places. You know what I'm saying? Um, now I don't mean like expensive places. You can do the expensive places. Some place that's not too basic. You know, you don't want to take her to Burger King. You don't want to take her to Red Robin. Even though it's kind of the upper scale, but it's I mean, you want to take her to places that you ain't been to in a while. That maybe when y'all was young and you really didn't have money, you would take her there and spend money like it wasn't nothing. Like. Like that. Cause you know what? I'm I'm talking like Taco Bell. I'm talking like straight up Taco Bell. And don't get her just a, a regular taco. Get her a double decker taco. You know what I'm saying? You gotta show your appreciation. You know what I'm saying? Put some sour cream, some um you gotta do it big. Get her a nacho bell grande. Please don't do that, y'all. Don't take your girl to Taco Bell. Even though my favorite spot, you know, uh there's Panda Express, then there's like Taco Bell, you know, there's Sometimes it's like Taco Bell and then Panda. You know, Panda, 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 Panda. I really like the noodles. It's not so much the orange chicken. It's like it's like the, 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 the chow mein. You know what I'm saying? With the soy sauce on it, it's a done deal. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. My birthday, you can give me some Panda Express, put it on the table, and we call it good. I ain't got to go nowhere. I ain't got to do nothing. Panda, Panda, Panda. <laughs> Number seven. Boom. Hold down a job that pays the bills. Hold down a job. I just want to get like a little selfie shot up in there, you know? It's nothing like being with somebody who can't even stick with a job. You know, and I'm speaking from experience. I had a lot of jobs, but I always held down one. Never afraid or ashamed to hold down a job. Pay the bills. Number eight, number eight, number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. Don't, don't be trying to count it. Let her have girls night out. They ain't got to be single. It could be married women. You no, know, let her go out with the other three or four married women and have a girls night out. Let her come home late. Let her, you know, still get out there and, and do bowling and skate and go out to eat and just talk about, you know, they husbands. Oh, he's so sweet, girl. He's so sweet, girl. You never guess, girl, you never guess what he did the other day, girl. Girl, he didn't just take me to any place, girl. He took me to Taco Bell, girl, and got me a double-decker taco. Let her brown. 
brag, you know, that you spent not just, you know, a dollar twenty, but you spent like a dollar ninety nine. Number nine, cook for her. Cook for your wife. Happy wife, happy life. And if you can't cook, you know, it's all cool. And help her cook. If you can't cook, it's understandable. Get in the kitchen, help her cook. I got a couple of dishes underneath my sleeve. You know, I ain't got no long sleeves on, but they underneath, they underneath there somewhere. You know, I got a couple of dishes in there. Did I say dishes? Yeah, dishes. I was thinking about washing dishes because I help do that sometimes too. You know, if I don't cook, you know what I'm saying? I'll help clean the dishes. I got a couple of recipes, a couple of dishes. I, and when I say a couple, I do mean like couple. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe like three. Tuna helper. I know how to fry some chicken. Lately, I've been doing fish. And, but if you can't cook, at least help out around the house. I'm not no chef, so I'm not going to try to act like I can cook all day. And last but not least, number 10. Don't forget her birthday. And not only don't forget a birthday, don't forget to plan ahead. It only comes once a year. If it's not a surprise party and you guys go somewhere and you just have fun. Birthday, it's your birthday. Gonna party like it's Who sings that again? I don't know. Put it in the comments who sings that song. Actually, I know who's singing. I'm just playing with y'all. Don't forget that special moment. But hey, you know what? I'm about to be out of here. This is your top 10. This is your 10 tips on happy wife, happy life. Keep it going. And I guarantee, fellas, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be on your way. She's gonna be like, baby, what you want tonight? I'm catering to you tonight. I think that's by like Beyonce or something. Cater to you, cater to you. Some, some One of them songs. I don't know. I heard it on Pandora. Some of them songs be getting mixed into the wrong stations. And I was driving one day. I had some people in the car and I had like this Christian station on. It was supposed to be Christian rap. It was supposed to be Christian rap. And I'm chilling, driving. I'm on Pandora. You know what I'm saying? And I'm listening to like Flame. Oh man. And I'm listening to Gospel Gangsters. Actually, it wasn't Flame. It was Gospel Gangsters. I was listening to the Gospel Gangsters and I want to say it was some other Christian rappers that was up in there. And then out of, out of nowhere, first off, Yo, and the, you claim West Side. I was like, what? I said, I know I got this channel say Gospel Gangster channel. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, be careful with that Pandora. You know what I'm saying? You be, you be thinking you listening to a gospel song and all of a sudden, you know, love making something come on. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, hey, once again, I'm out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share. Quincy Conte, I'll be back at you. And hey, let me know what type of videos you would like to see. What type of videos you would like to see me do. <laughs> all right, let me know, let me know. Comment on below. And uh, hey, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we didn't get it on this one. Everybody here. Uh, I just wanna. Yeah, I just wanna. Huh. Yeah. Number number four. I cut out that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's Quincy Conte. Number six. <laughs> Two. Born as a hustler, never to trust ya. Okay, so anyway, let me shut that off for a moment. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Quincy Conte. Thank you for stopping and checking out. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Man. Keep. You will have a um, happy wife, happy life. Happy wife. Oh. Woo, woo, woo. Get on your feet now, yeah. Uh, I need my diehard Christians on this track. Never stop, never quit, Christian. Am I not ashamed of the gospel, Christians? Bible told him walking down the street, Christian. Fasting, praying, hands laying, interceding. That's what I'm talking about.